In order for the Model 3 to be profitable, Tesla needs to get their batteries down to about $130 per kilowatt hour. I think they can do it, but there's a lot of different factors at play here. So I have some data here that's gonna help us try to understand exactly how and if it's possible. In Q1, Tesla improved their profitability for the automotive section to 27%. Now the question is whether or not they can do this with the Model 3. So I got some data from an anonymous source and I thought it would be helpful to use that data plus some of my own calculations for us to try to reverse engineer this and see if we can figure out what price does Tesla need to achieve for their batteries in order to actually be profitable on the Model 3. First, there's an analyst out there I need to call out, Colin Langan from UBS, who is constantly throwing shade on Tesla. He was the guy, if you remember, a year or so ago that downgraded them to sell and put their uh, stock price target at $120 a share. Meanwhile, another guy that was bullish on it put him at $325 a share. Where are they at now? Well. Colin's been wrong many times. He also estimated that the cost to upgrade the supercharger network to support the Model 3 would be $8 billion. Sorry, but as Tesla has shown, it's gonna be far less than that and they're already underway on a lot of these things. So this whole discussion about whether or not the Model 3 is gonna be profitable came up from one of his uh, articles that he posted saying that there's no way that the Model 3 will be profitable at $35,000. So. I'm gonna give him all the credit and respect that he's due, which to date is none because he's been 100% wrong. But I thought with this data, it'd be fun to try to see where they need to be. And then that actually may tell us as more information comes out about the Gigafactory, how close they are to actually being profitable on the Model 3. So for a car to be profitable, the way you think about it is that you take the sale price of the car and about 40% of that needs to be dedicated to the production. So the higher you go on the production cost, the less profit you have. Now that's the conventional wisdom. Um, and with that, the, an electric vehicle, usually the cost of the battery is about 50% of the overall production cost. So with those two variables and the price of the car that we do know, and with some speculation about what the other options may cost, we can kind of reverse engineer this. And so starting out, if you're looking at $35,000, 40% of that, if we assume that that's their target, and then 50% of that is gonna be how much the battery costs, that will back into exactly what the per kilowatt hour price needs to be in order for Tesla to make this car at a profit. So let's dive into the data now and see exactly where they need to end up. So the way I organize this data here, and again, I got some of this from an anonymous source, so thank you for sending this in. So on the left, I have the cost per kilowatt hour, starting at $200 going down to $100, and with increments of $10 difference between. So then I have the assumptions about the battery in the car. So we have the kilowatt hour base of 55, and then down below that I have a 70, because I'm estimating everything that I've seen that those will be the two sizes that we'll have available for the Model 3. There may be a third, there may be a bigger one, but right now this is, seems to be the prevailing thinking in the community. So if we take a look there, the base battery at $200 per kilowatt hour at the top times 55 kilowatt hours is gonna give us $11,000. Now if we take the sale of $35,000 and then we have 40% of that gives us our total production cost. Remember, this is our target. So after we subtract the $11,000 from the $14,000 of our production cost target, we're only left with $3,000. That's not enough to make the rest of the car. Um, now at this stage, we're looking at about 78.6% of the production cost. And I just kind of calculated this out. So as the base sale goes down, you can see that, and then the production cost remains relatively constant. And then from there, we can see that the cost per kilowatt hour is what's affecting the overall percentage. And I've highlighted two items here, the $130 one for the 55 kilowatt hour pack and the $120 mark for the $70 pack. Now these are essentially the crossing marks here. This is, this is the target for them in order for the car to be profitable. So another way to look at that is this here. I just kind of pivoted this a little bit differently, and that way you can see the different percentages of production costs right next to each other, and you can see where those two are. 
If we want to trend this, I can do this in a simple way where I have along the X axis, the cost per kilowatt hour running from high to low, and then the percentage of the production cost. Now I put these little crosshairs here, these reference lines for the profit target and the cost target. So you can see exactly where they're at and how close they are. So honestly, anywhere really close to this is going to be fairly good for Tesla. There are so many other factors that it's really hard to estimate exactly. But if they can get around this $130 mark, they're going to be in pretty good shape based on these basic estimates here. And finally, a better way to look at this would be to color code it so we can see exactly what's going on. And you can see at the top here when the cost per kilowatt hour is at $200, it is really red or really orange. And that means that it's really hot. It's really kind of bad in our scenario. We wanna be more towards the black. That's where we make our profit. And you can see that at $130, we're almost there. And at $120 for the 70 kilowatt hour battery, we are there. So. This is a simple way of looking at this data, and I think it's gonna help us understand as more information comes out about the price per kilowatt hour from the Gigafactory, as more Gigafactories get announced and come online, exactly what that means for the Model 3 and the company overall as a whole. So there you have it. Tesla needs to get the batteries down to about $130 per kilowatt hour in order for the Model 3 to be profitable. The question is whether or not they can do this. Now, they currently have the first Gigafactory with some parts of it online. They have a second Gigafactory in Buffalo, New York, which is making the solar and stuff and all the batteries for that. Now, they're also going to announce two to four new Gigafactory locations this year. So all of these, and the reason I mentioned that, are going to help with scale. See, once you have this massive scale and you can produce these things in such huge quantities, the price just keeps continuing to drop and drop and drop. So that's their path, is to scale up with the Gigafactories and get this price as low as possible. Now, once they start to get below $130 per kilowatt hour for the battery, they are gonna be making some serious cash on the Model 3. So thanks for joining me on another episode of Teslanomics. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Each week, we take a look at the data and the economics behind this company that's really changing our world. If you're already a part of the family, thanks for joining me yet again. Don't forget to hit that like button and share this on your social channels with everyone else you know to help grow this community. And as always, if you are in the market for a Tesla Model S or X, a new one, you can use our referral code at teslanomics.co slash TD and get a thousand bucks off. And that just gives us little benefits and rewards like invites to cool VIP events all of which I can then share back here with you. So it's a win-win. So thanks for joining me yet again, and I'll see you back here next time.